Right, what's up guys? Today I got another Joker creation and if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe if you want to learn Photoshop and create cool stuff so it's not boring to do, it's fun and you will learn a lot of things that I know. If you like this video and comment on it, it will also help my channel grow and I can keep going and make these videos. All right, now I got this as a background. I think this will look very nice with the suit. So we got this red sunset going on. Let's make a smart object here. And I think I'm gonna leave this white screen size. So it's like, like a wallpaper or something. And let's see, let's blur this out so we can have all our focus on this Joker. So blur Gaussian blur. And take something like this, fine. Now I want to create some uh, rim lights here. In case you didn't know what the rim light is, that's like a thin outline on on the subject here because of the lighting, some sort of reflection. So let's first remove a little bit of color here in the background. So I'm going to create a hue situation. Press this and drop this a little bit. And now let's put this in folders. This is our choker and this is our background all right now let's first create exposure layer here make sure to press this so you only affect our joker and let's bring this up so you have all the high all the highlights really really light now and now i want to press on this mask so we select this mask press the new keyboard so you have white to black and press ctrl backspace to remove it again now I want to bring up, bring back some parts. So I'm going to select the white color here and I'm just going to bring back some parts. So we have this light going on and we can now just adjust it if it's not bright enough can create something like that it also looks cool now we have some red light going on there so i want to create like a reflection in his face from this light so let's create a new layer here create a clipping mask so we only affect this area and let's pick something red not too bright but a little bit darker because we don't want to have bright colors here and let's change the blending mode to soft light All right, now I want to make this rim light go like further, like all the way here. So what I'm going to do here is because it's difficult to draw with with a mouse, I'm going to select the pen tool and select this area. Just make like this curve here from this close from his suit and make like this selection, press right mouse, make selection the radius at one and now we have this area selected so now i can just easily extend this rim light I can go all the way here now i want to do the same here with the nose so i'm gonna select the pen tool again and make like this selection of the nose Let's add some action to the scene. I got this photo. I'm going to use this fire. Let's put this. Let's make sure this is in our folder. And put this here. Convert to smart object. And resize this. I'm going to use this fire. Like we have some fire going on there. And just change the blending mode to screen. Now we can even rotate it a little bit like that. And I want to get rid of this, this line here. So I'm going to press Ctrl L to bring up a level, select the black picker tool and select that area. So that is gone. And maybe edit this color. It's a little bit too orange. Now 
Let's do some dodge here. I'm gonna create a new layer on top of the Joker. Create a clipping mask. Fill it with 50% gray. Changes to overlay and select the dodge tool. Now we can lighten up this part a little bit more. Now, because we have this fire here, we can add some fire particles. We've got this image, just gonna copy that and put it above all the other layers. Make a smart object and change it to screen. So we can create some particles flying around here. I think it makes the image more epic. Now it's really easy to add other stuff like for instance if you want to add this just make sure to make a smart object so you can always adjust it. Use a Gaussian blur and you don't even need to blend in with the image it already works out pretty well because it's all blurred out and you can barely see it. So you can add a lot of stuff in the background if you want. Let's get the lighting light uh, right here. So I'm gonna select the Joker layer here above all the other adjustment layers and create a curves adjustment layer. Make sure to press this and let's make it dark first. So this is okay. And uh, now press on the mask of it, select the black brush. Make sure you have a general soft round brush, bring the hardness down, leave the opacity in flow at 100 and let's brush areas lighter again so this side will be lighter some light coming in here here let's make sure we can see the eyes so I'm just making sure this side of his head is a little bit darker than the other side So this was before and this after. So we have some nice darker and lighter areas. And let's make sure these pieces are light. You can even drop the opacity here. So it's not too bright, but just a little bit lighter. All right, now we can play around with the lighting. So I'm gonna create some extra lights here. So create a new layer and pick something like this as a color, a little bit yellowish and let's make a dot here and change it to screen. So if like this light coming from like even stretch it out like that. This is like the fun part when you're done with everything you can play around with the lighting, add some areas with lights. Okay, I think this was too much. I'm gonna leave it like this and maybe pick it like that. All right, now there is like space here left. So if you wanna add text, you can just copy that from the original one. Make sure to make this black and just change this to screen. So you got a nice wallpaper of the Joker. So yeah, that is basically it. You can also do some color balance here, but I don't think it's, don't even need to do this. You can always change the tones here a bit like that. Or maybe a little bit red. It all depends on what you like most. So just play around with the settings and I'm sure you get something cool. All right, that is it for this one. Thanks for watching everyone. And don't forget to like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one.